The Heart Part 6 out now. And we know you're dropping six minutes after. So instead of posting my address, you have a lot to address. It's the Going Off <laughs> Podcast with Rap Critic and Muse. That would be the second worst line I've heard from him. <laughs> after you saying it's a minor, well, you better be sharp. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I was like, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> he thought he was so clever with that, too. He had to have been so happy with that. Right? It's like, oh, man. <laughs> and it's like, it's so fucking corny. Like, he posted... I, I could not believe that when I saw that. That was what he posted when he posted the Heart Part 6 song. I'm like, really? You thought that planned word was going to be the, oh, 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 address has two meanings in this context. Oh. If you're already, like, you know, the ass kissers, you're going to be like, ha ha, that's right, Drake. And if you're anywhere outside of that, <laughs> you're like, uh, what? Why are you acting like you won? You need to get back in the booth. <laughs> Drake did a music video for Family Matters. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that until just now. Yeah. Like, I'm just kind of skimming through it. Is is the whole joke that, like, the minivan supposed to be the minivan from Good Kid yes. Med City? He clearly scrambled and got bowled over by Kendrick's timing. Because, okay, I, and I feel like we gotta, we gotta lay out the song, because last time we talked about part yes. one. <laughs> yeah, we, we, gotta, we gotta backtrack a bit. <laughs> Drake makes the first two tracks about, oh, I put two tracks out in two days, and I wasn't afraid to drop with the Taylor Swift down drop. What are you, some kind of pussy? Ha ha ha, what are you afraid to drop? What, we're waiting on you, what are you gonna do? And then, euphoria, then he drops euphoria, he's like, all right, here's my euphoria. You know, I dropped that, you know what I'm saying? You, you got a little piece of that. Uh, and then I also dropped the 616 where I make it clear that I might know some stuff about you. So maybe let's keep this friendly. Maybe let's keep it a friendly game of baseball. Then Drake decides to, the next day, put out the Family Matters track. Essentially going like, oh, you talked about my son on the Euphoria shit. So now I'm kind of going to come at you. And I was thinking about it for a second. I was like, wait, did he say anything about him? It's like, I don't think he did. And I was like, well, I guess there was that line where he said, you don't know nothing about that. <laughs> you know, the, the oh. you don't know nothing about that sweet. <laughs> but I was like, I was thinking, I was like, but it's more like, ooh, Kendrick was kind of sneaky with that one. Because if you look, he technically didn't say anything about him. <laughs> he just said, I, I don't think you know anything about that. You know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of, remember the Pusha T beef where it was like, oh, you know, Drake had that line, it's like, uh, I'm gonna put the ring on you like Virginia Williams or something like that. And then it's like, oh, he said Pusha T's wife name, wife's name. Uh oh, now Pusha T's gonna go all out. And it's one of those things where you look back on the line, it's like, I mean, it wasn't that intense what he said though. You know, it's not like it was like, if you heard that line, it's not like you'd be like, oh, what did you say? Now I've gotta go. It was just pure, it purely felt like the, this is all I needed to hear. <laughs> you know, unleash the cannons. And that's what a lot of this beef kind of feels like when I sit back and look at it. It's kind of like the, hmm, he said the right word that I needed to hear. Unleash the cannon where I'm going to go at him and talk about, oh, what about this domestic dispute? Uh, maybe something about that. Nah, I'm going to throw some, uh, you know, uh, rumors out there too. And then it was one of those things where it's like, oh, you want to make it about... Uh, you want to go at my character for real, for real? Hmm, okay, then let's play this game. And then it, it's like, so that's what was happening. Drake dropped the Family Matters with a whole ass music video where it was like, a, ha ha, I made a whole production where I'm going to be, you know, crunching your car and doing all this sort of thing and showing myself having a good time and, you know, uh, at whatever restaurant that you brought up in that song or whatever. Ha ha, we're chilling and relaxing. And then not even 30 minutes later, it was like, it was like, no, I had this in the tank. I was ready to go, actually. You wanted to be funny? Okay, let's be funny. And then he drops the fucking meet the grams. So it's like, he he upped the intensity so much <laughs> that it was just like a, oh. And then he didn't give any fucking breathing room. That was the real, the real issue with it, right? Like, nothing that Drake said had time to land because the response was so immediate that it just felt like a, <gasps> <laughs> like, he was playing you. He was, like, you could feel that, oh, he was waiting for you to go like, oh, you're going to dedicate a whole track to going at me? Okay. <laughs> you know? And then right after that, he releases the song that turns out to be the fucking dance jam. The, uh, they not like us. They not like us. So it just felt like a, like, he, he literally, like, I mean, metaphorically walked, the, musically walked this man down like he said he was going to do. It was like the, oh, you thought I couldn't drop a song uh, day, af day after day? Oh, is that, was that what your joke was? Oh, actually, how's this? How's this? How's this? <laughs> it's almost like a, whoa. <laughs> so that when Drake does the, the heart part six thing, like when you listen to him, he sounds so like he's scrambling to put out the fires instead of put Kendrick on a back foot. You know what I mean? Like, oh no, that's not true. Oh, uh, this isn't true. Uh, and then he, the, the problem with it is he like triples down on saying certain shit where he's like, oh, I'm too famous to ever be a pedophile. And you never heard of my name on, on any sex offender registry list. It's like, 
oh, I think you doth protest too much, Drake. Like, <laughs> like, honestly, if you look at like just the reaction of people, it was so clear that people were clowning on the bad lines from that song. That was like any of the things, like that was the thing about it too. It was like anything that Drake said that actually might have connected because yeah, we can't know 100% anything. So it's all about, oh, how can I pull down your reputation, right? Like that's what this all is at the end of the day. But you know, like him saying the line about like, oh, if Whitney hits me back, it'll be a lot safer than when she did it, when she hits you back. <laughs> like that sort of thing. Like that was supposed to be the big hit, but like that was at the tail end of him doing so much trying to put out fires of, no, no, I'm not a bad guy. Uh, actually, no, uh, you know what I'm saying? And that then song was he, so embarrassingly bad. Yes, like, and when he does the mother eye thing, see, and this is the thing about it look, too. Oh, I was thinking about honestly yeah. just saving this for a worse lyrics list because like the whole, you know, the character that he's trying to portray is that like, Oh, well, with the Whitney thing is that like, oh man, you're a terrible person, Kendrick. You know, you don't, you're not thinking about like uh, uh, the women in like, your life, wow. And then, oh, <laughs> oh, I've got one on you. Uh, I was just about to talk to my mom. This is the most contrived fucking setup. I was just about <laughs> to talk to my mom and I said, mother I, mother I, wait a minute. Isn't that like <laughs> that song where you got sexually molested? Oh, now it all makes sense. You were sexually molested, ha <laughs> ha. It's like, um. <laughs> <laughs> like once you're going on and then when you pull back and it's like did you listen to that full song because the point was that he explicitly wasn't and this is the thing that pissed me off even more it's like that just shows how lazy you were being because you could have gone with that angle you could have gone with the who who's this savior thinking he's gonna help anyone trying to tell sexual assault victims that they should forgive you like that was the angle you know what i'm saying like you could have totally taken the high road there and been like now i look like the better guy because remember that album where da 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 but then he fucked that up <laughs> like he really fucked himself there because he clearly was scrambling you know what i mean came off like such a cocky heel in the hard part six the thing that was so funny to me was his whole that's why you're focusing on that aspect of what you're attacking me for now it all makes sense now i just feel bad now i don't want to do this anymore yeah, you know what? the way you tried to uh, twist you it you know what i think this is where i'm gonna stop it because i feel bad not because you're dragging my name harder than it's ever fucking been right. dragged. Like, stop acting. You're like, yeah. trying to reframe it, but also he still had to, you know, he still brought it up like a couple of times. So it's like, he's trying to do both of, I don't even care, but I still have to make sure people know, but I don't even care. Like, yeah. And then by the time you get to the end, it's like, like I said, I thought Kendrick, I thought Drake was gonna come out with the dance pop song that's dissing Kendrick and like, oh no, now you can't escape it. It's the number one song in the country. And you know, he's coming at you. Oh, I thought that was gonna be the play. And then Kendrick ends up having the hit song and it's like, oh no, that was supposed to be your one thing that you were supposed to get him at, you know? Kendrick Lamar's back catalog up 49% following Weekend of B oh, of B. No. Drake's down 5%. Uh, <laughs> and you know that's a big 5%. That's the uh, that's the main story on Billboard right now. Like that is number eight, and Euphoria is number eleven. That's not bad. Uh, Drake is at number seventeen with Push Ups. Mm. I'm surprised that one's still there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and and that's the thing that people said too. Yeah, on Push Ups, he technically does mention Kendrick's wife's name first like that technically mm. does happen because and but the, that's the thing about it it's so stupid the way he brings it up that it's one of those things are like why did you even do that like because he says like oh yeah and it's not even that good he goes like i'm i'm gonna be with a bunch of bodyguards like whitney and it's like really really <laughs> that was mm. your i got you i need bodyguards Ooh, and remember the movie the bodyguard and also your wife's name is whitney so but the point is, I, I need bodyguards. Uh, like, that's what the line sounds like, you know? <laughs> the joke right now is, J. Cole really dodged a bullet by not being involved with all of this and dipping before things got real, real bad. Sure. But we, we all kind of forgot that transphobic line in his song. What? J. Cole says, I'm seeing hints of a trans fella and cancel culture's vicinity, he's no killer, trust me. Beneath his chosen identity, there is still a pussy, period. Drake also had a line like that too, didn't he? Did he? On, uh, I think it was Family Matters. Because I remember fuck? the big line where it's like, he starts attacking, um... Uh, uh, the weekend for some fucking reason. It's like, dude, stay on target. That was part of it too. He's like, just... 
you could tell he's just like really like, whoa, oh, we're in also I gotta attack you and I gotta attack you. And it's like, what are you even doing? But he has one line and I was trying to be like, wait, what? What are you trying to say? What does that mean? Like, it was so awkward. It was, you almost had to like squint to kind of see the meeting. Like, okay, he says, uh, tears running down my cheek, laughing at you pussies dying. It's a war cry. Weekend music getting played in all the spots where boys got a little more pride. That's why all your friends dip into Atlanta paying just to find a tour guide. And it's like, oh, uh, okay, that wasn't. What's that about? That wasn't even, you know what I mean? Like the thing that fucks up, like, cause I was thinking about like when I made my, when I was working on my video and then the hard part six comes out and I'm like, shit, I've already made the script and well, I gotta mention this and should I do it and should I not? And it doesn't matter enough. And I was like looking through the lyrics and it's like, okay, I, I put the percentage of like how many hits he actually gets. But honestly, if I'm going to be honest, he like misses so many times that I honestly was thinking like, but I feel like I should take away points too because the fucking mother may I shit goes on for so long and is so it clearly really incorrect does. that it's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's fucking embarrassing. But you know, another yeah. um, player in all of this we didn't talk about yet, who's, uh, <laughs> it felt like he was doing really well. He was, what is that? Run high on Monday. Shot down in May. What happened? Metro Boomin. Oh, with the Baby, yeah, I fucking hate how goddamn catchy that song is. Right. <laughs> it's like, mother, I got, bill, got the best BBL in history. <laughs> is that really of, of everything we're going to go after Drake for? See, see, that's what I was thinking about, too, because I was like, Who ah, gives like, a shit? this feels petty. And, but, but then it's super he, petty. You know what sucks? Like, Drake responded to it, though, because he, he left a oh. comment where he's like, yo, you chef enough a beat about my ass, fam? What's that about? It's like, dude, that's not what you need to be responding to. That's not... <laughs> <laughs> That's not what's gonna get people on your side, dude. That is true. Like it's a good point, but not now. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> maybe later. Maybe save that for later. But now, and I haven't looked into it too too much. I just saw it was trending a couple days ago. Metro Groomin. Oh no! Is it coming back on him? <laughs> That apparently he did like a whole bunch of tweets from when he was like eighteen that he had to delete because he's like being super uh -huh. fucking creepy in him. Okay, uh, wait, 18, oh, okay. how old is he now? Wait. How old is he now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I saw was uh, the heart part six. This was just going back to like uh, some stats that I had seen how like the heart part six officially has more, has more dislikes than, yeah, yeah, more dislikes than likes on YouTube with like 539,000 uh, likes and 540 dislikes. So it's like officially on that like flipped over thing. Meanwhile, Kendrick, has barely one percent like dislike. It's like, oh, I think the public has spoken. But uh, about the yeah. uh, about the metro, I guess uh, he's thirty. Okay, so that's oh. Eh. <laughs> okay, okay, come on, all right. He said she gonna suck me whether she like it or not. That's what the Molly for. Oh no. Oh. And this is from uh, March seventh, twenty thirteen. Which is like a why, what like I, I I'm of two minds like one mind is the hey, hey, we're on the internet being internet edge lords hey, hey. and then there's the second mind which is like we're being internet edge lords so we're saying the things that we're actually thinking but just being you know, Howard Sterny about it you know what I mean like it's like oh you know you're making fun of him for getting like you know what I mean like surgery because he probably feels self conscious maybe like you know there's that uh, Inglo too. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, honestly, I have no fucking problem if, if, if Drake wants to get any kind of body modification shit. I'm not about to make fun of him for that. I mean, fuck. I'm fucking trans. If I had <laughs> if I had unlimited funds and, like, didn't have a job I had to worry about, you know, taking time away from or anything, I would have so much fucking work done. Like, are you kidding me? Now, my my only thing is uh, him going, like, you know, posting the pictures with the abs, like, oh, yeah, look at the workout I just did, and then just, like... Wait, where'd you get that now? Oh, uh, where it is, actually. <laughs> like, that's lying to people, you know? But, like, yeah, like, at the end of the day, rap beefs are about, like, yeah, making your opponent look foolish while making you look cool. And it is shitty that they took it to this place, but on the same level, like, it so has that air of, like, 
Oh, that's the thing going back to J. Cole too. It's like, I think J. Cole did a good job of not making it personal. That's what I think. And that's why I think it's so weird that J. Cole was the one who took the, the disc back. Cause I was like, he was the one, you know, who was the least doing anything that was pushy. So it felt so weird for, cause like a lot of people, you know, when they, they do the meme of, oh, J. Cole, you could have gotten it too. Oh, imagine you could. But it's like, but literally Kendrick's point was that I actually didn't feel like I was doing, going that hard until I felt that Drake was doing something that was really out of pocket. Kendrick was trying to joke on something that everyone already kind of knew about uh, Drake. Drake was trying to expose something about Kendrick. So it's like slightly different levels of like thinking when you think about it, you know what I'm saying? Rap beefs, uh, are we having fun now? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like at this point, I mean, the heart part, honestly, what ended it, I think, was the heart part six because he fumbled it so badly in terms of, like, how to frame the response. In fact, I was thinking about it like, oh, yeah, Drake does mention at one point, like, hey, ain't you uh, hanging out with R. Kelly or sending him commentary because we, sh we should be forgiving victims or whatever the heck, and what's up with that? Like, Drake brings that up, but he brings it up so late in the song, I didn't even fucking remember. Like, that, Look, that was the thing. Yeah, it's like, honestly... You should have started with that. <laughs> like, wait, you should have started with, whoa, you calling me this? What about when you did that? That should have been the first four lines. Like, you're dra I, I, I'm dragging you down here with me, you know? I think you forgot about it, too. And it's like, yeah. it's a really good point. Like, Drake accusing Kendrick of beating his wife, that sucks. Like, yeah. if, 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 if that's true... That fucking blows, you know? Right. And now, I'm not now getting... as far as I've seen, it, it apparently is like a rumor that got debunked, but like, I mean, something could have happened since then, so it's like a, yeah, the point of know. the battle is to be like, oh, we're we questioning your character. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Like, yeah. And and honestly, though, when Drake did say, um, what was that thing you said when you said that if R. Kelly's music gets taken off, uh, taken down from Spotify, you were going to pull your music too? Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really fucking good point. And, th and that, that was one thing I remember being very vocally, like, disappointed in Kendrick about being like, what the fuck is this? Why would you say this? There's no reason for it. And you're like, yeah, that's a great point. Why did you mention it so fucking late? See, that's and that that's what makes me further go like you really lost because it's like there were things to go at Kendrick for. There are things <laughs> like he just uh, got scared and didn't really know how to. Uh, put it together in the right way, or at least in a way that didn't make him sound like, yeah, like I said, oh no, I'm totally <laughs> giving up. Oh, and you can drop your songs. You can drop a hundred songs if you want to. I totally don't even care anymore. Wait a minute. At the beginning of the battle, weren't you saying, where's your next song? You need to be able to do the next song because I've got 20 writers who can help me put together a song. So why can't you yeah. put out a song immediately? <sighs> like, you know what that really was. That's what, that's what it is like. We were being kind of dickish all around on this sort of front. You know what I mean? Like, like, you know, Kendrick clearly like was doing a little needling with the, you don't know none about that kind of like prodding him to go into that line. And like, Drake was clearly doing the, if, if, if uh, Kendrick drops anything, I, I know that I have, you know, my ghostwriters in the studio to help me out, you know? So it's like. Pop, pop.